about Vindhya Supergroup. But before starting this, I'll just take back to you. The first formed sediments or the rocks in India are of Archean age. The Archean rocks are overlain by Dharwar. The Dharwar rocks, due to the tectonic movement, the Dharwar rocks were folded and due to tectonism, some basins were created. In that basin, the rock of proteoric successions of India were deposited. The proteoric succession of India coincides with the Purana formations, which is also come from the word Puran, which means old. The Purana formation is divided into lower Puranas and upper Puranas. In lower Puranas, we have Kadappa supergroup, and in upper Puranas, we have area, we have Vindhyan supergroup. The Vindhyan supergroup is further divided into lower Vindhyans and upper Vindhyans. The lower Vindhyans is comprises of Simri group, and the sediments here are of marine deposits. The upper Vindhyan comprises of Kaimur, Reva, and Bhandir, and sediments of here are freshwater deposits and fluidile in origin. The rocks of Vindhyan are very very important from economic point of view in India. The sandstones, the shields, the limestones found in these uh, formations are very important building stones. Many historical monuments like Red Fort, Jama Masjid, many stupas of Buddha and uh, temples are also been carved from these sandstones. The limestone formed in these uh, formations uh, has served as a very good uh, raw material for cement industry and brass industry. Each and every group of Upper Vindhyan is uh, uh, differentiated from one another by diamond bearing conglomerate. Now today uh, we will discuss the Vindhyan supergroup in detail. Let's have it. The Purana group rock formations of India which consists of Kadappa and Vindhyans. Welcome to Geology with Saran. The Purana succession overlies the Arcan basement of the peninsula of India are relatively less complex structures. It coincides with the Proterozoic period of the Earth's geological history, which is 600 million years ago. It is separated from the underlying Archean group by an unconformity, which is known as Iparkin unconformity or the mean unconformity. The closing of the Dharva period witnessed intense Earth movement, which folded the Dharva into mountain ranges and initiated tectonic zonation of the Earth crust into sedimentary basins. Into these basins, the eroded material from Dharva area was accumulated forming rocks of Purana succession which is consists of sedimentary, metamorphic and mixed type of rock. Now today we will talk about the Vindhyan system. The Vindhyan system derives its name from the Vindhyan hills where its rocks are prominently exposed in Madhya Pradesh. The succession rests unconfirmably over the older formation of the Archean and are overlaid by Deccan traps. The Vindhyan supergroup is considered to be of upper Purana age. The Vindhyan forms dividing land between the Ganga plain and the Deccan covering an extensive area of 1,600,000 square kilometers of thickness and around 4,270 meters thick sedimentary rock like sandstone, shales and limestones. The Vindhyan system had been divided into lower Vindhyans which comprises of Sindri group and the upper Vindhyans which comprises of Kaimur, Reva and Pandir groups and they all are separated by a zone of unconfirmity. The rock of lower Vindhyan system are made up of calcareous rocks of marine origin while the upper Vindhyans are made up of arenaceous rocks of fluvitile origin. This is a tectonic map of India. This is a Vindhyan syncline. This basin is Vindhyan where the Vindhyan rocks are deposited. And this is the Kadappa basin. Now this is much more illustrated map of Vindhyan supergroup. You can see here that this red color is the Bundelkhan granite Nicy complex which is of Archean age. Then you have Semri group. This is a Semri group. These rocks are exposed of Semri group which comprises of Upper Vindhyan. Sorry, Lower Vindhyan. Then you have uh, Upper Vindhyan which is Kaimur, Reva and Bhandir. Then this purple is Kaimur. The orangish is Reva and this bluish is Bhandir. Let's take for Semri group which is of Lower Vindhyan. The group derives its name from Semri River, well exposed in eastern Sun Valley, Chittorgarh, Pejawar, Savai Madhupur, with average thickness of about 1300 meters, comprising of shale and limestone successions with a basal conglomeratic horizon. Sediment tends to thin towards west and north. The Semri series shows further stages of basal formation, Purcell Knight formation, Khenjua formation, and Rotas formation. 
The lowermost bed of the series in the Sun Valley is called Basal Formation, consisting of 600 meter thick succession of conglomerate, shale, and Gajrahat limestone beds, followed by shale, sandstone, and tufts, which have been silicified and converted into porcelainite with the name Porcelainite Formation, having thickness of about 100 meters. The Kenjo Formation overlying this is about 180 meter thick and consists of olive shale, fall limestone and glaucomodetic sandstone which shows the ripple marks. Above the comes Rotas formation which is about 120 to 210 meter thick consisting of alternating beds of limestones and shales which support cement industry of the region. Now we have Upper Vindians which is Kaimur, Reva and Bhandir. The Upper Vindian succession rests over the same regroup with a well marked unconformity in the Sun Valley and Dhar forest area. The Upper Vindians are divided into three series, Kaimur, Reva and Bhandir. These series are divided from each other by conglomerate beds containing rolled fragments of diamond derived from the erosion of dikes of older igneous rocks. The Kaimur group. The Kaimur group begins with a thin conglomerate horizon containing pebbles of red jasper. The 400 meter thick succession that follows conglomeratic horizon has been further divided into lower Kaimur sandstone, Bijagar shales and upper Kaimur sandstone. Some sedimentary structures are also reported from the sandstones of Kaimur, such as current beddings, ripple marks, and sun cracks. Sun cracks are also known as desiccation cracks. Riva group. The Kaimurs are succeeded by Riva group, composed of somewhat coarser sandstones than those of Kaimurs, and of two groups are separated by a zone of diamond bearing conglomerate. This succession is 200 meter thick of shales and sandstone, and it is again divided into four formations Panna shales. Lower Reva Sandstone, JD Shales, Upper Reva Sandstone. The sandstones found in this group are utilized for making cement and the silica sandstone for making glass. The famous Panna Diamond Field of India is situated in the Reva Rocks. They also contain the inferior quality of iron and manganese deposits. The Reva is uh, succeeded by Bhandir Group. The Bhandir group is almost uppermost division of the Vindhyan which is separated from the Reva series by a horizon of diamond bearing conglomerates. The sandstone of Bhandir are fine grained, thick bedded and a large block which are used for the building material. The Bhandir is divided into five formations, Ganugar shales, Bhandir limestone, lower Bhandir sandstone, Sirbu shales and upper Bhandir sandstones. This is a succession of lower Vindhyan, same regroup. This is of Upper Vindhyan. All the formations are given here and this is the thickness in the meters. Now what is the economic importance of Vindhyans? The Vindhyan bears out of precious stones, ornamental stones, diamond bearing material, raw material for cement, lime, glass and chemical industries, iron and manganese. Many historic buildings like Red Fort of Delhi, Fort of Agra, Buddhist Stupa at Sarnath and Jama Masjid have been built by Vindhyan sandstone. The limestone of groups of this group is extensively used for manufacture of Portland cement. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.